Welcome back. It's time to make some glass. So let's get back into our hypershade. I've just minimized mine. Here it is. And what we need to do is clear our workspace. We're then going to go into our Arnold shader section again, create a new AI standard surface material, give it a name. So this one's going to be M underscore glass. And then we'll go into the presets and see what we've got. So we've got frosted glass. We've just got glass. And I think in this case, I'm just going to go for a basic glass because I want to make sure that this can be seen through quite easily. So we'll just click on replace there. You'll see that our material viewer gives us an idea of how this is going to look. You can switch to Arnold if you want to get a better idea of how it's going to render. So that's the glass basically ready to go. Some really cool things here though, as you have a, an IOR setting, which is an index of refraction. That's how the light's going to bend through it, which is one of the cool things about these photorealistic renderers in that light will behave in a believable way. That's why you can see the light being bent in this preview. And there are some settings that you can use such as like transmission or subsurface to try and get some color into this glass. So if you want it to, to be like a stained green bottle or something, I want to really be able to see my liquids inside the bottle. So I'm going to make sure that I just keep it fairly clean, this glass. So with that ready to go, then what I'll do is just apply it to my two bottles. So I'm just going to use my drag and drop method for this one. I'll pop it on there. And pop it on there and what I don't want to forget at this point is that I also have a glass window over here so I'll also throw it on there and that's now gone see-through you can see that the hardware renderer doesn't do a great job of showing where it is but as long as you've got this screen space ambient occlusion turned on you can at least see an outline of where they should be which can be really useful because they just go completely invisible otherwise but again if you want to get an idea of how this is looking you can change your renderer to Arnold and click on play to get the IPR render going. And this is now going to give you an example of how the glass is looking. Because of the way I set this up earlier using parenting, it appears to have also added the glass material to the liquid inside and to the corks, which is not the end of the world because we're going to change those materials later. But you can see that this is starting to come together now and we've got a good idea of how sexy these materials are going to become when we're finished. In the next stage then we are going to start worrying about the liquid material that's going to go inside these two flasks so let's move over to the next step and make a start on that game dev academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends if you'd like to offer your support then check out our patreon page using the link in the description below